it's been a couple years since the last one that I was able to attend. And uh, it's a wonderful venue. There's a lot of really great technical talks, some good product demonstrations in the exhibit area. And it's just great to see all the colleagues from around the world discussing signal integrity and power integrity technical issues. What I'm going to talk about is a practical guide to signal integrity from simulation to measurement. And so, so many times we talk about theory and device physics, but what I want to get across in this presentation is an intuitive gut feeling of what it's like to be the signal inside a transmitting channel. Today's hyperscale data network centers like Google and Facebook and these switches and routers have extremely fast signals going through them and the reliability has to be very high to not drop signals. And so everybody's connected in the Internet of Things and if you're not designing the physical layer structures properly, you're just asking for bit drops at the receiver and failures to happen in the channel. So we've got to carefully design all of these physical layer structures and pull together the software that makes them work. They're always doing the highest level R&D manufacturing uh, for test and measurement. So it's always a pleasure to come and, and share my, uh, my new product introductions with them. So it's, it's a, very, uh, a very mutually beneficial and educational experience for me. kind of a, a spin-off of the DesignCon in the U.S., which is the, the premier signal integrity event around the world. So having something like this in Israel is, is really fantastic. You can't beat the venue. It's really enjoyable. I, I'd have to say meeting the colleagues that I've come to know and, and enjoy spending time with. Um, education is just a side benefit. With power integrity, when you're designing a voltage regulator module, you have to expect some kind of loop bandwidth to keep control of a switching load. And the only thing a voltage regulator module can do is modulate the current as the load changes. And if you don't have a very high frequency loop control bandwidth on your VRM, then you can have oscillations, more noise, voltage ripple on your power, power supply rail. In general, we use the term interconnect, and so whether it's a cable or a connector or a PCB or a backplane, these are all linear passive devices that typically are left to the very last part of the design. People don't think about them, but if you don't use the right ones, you're bound to fail your whole channel. So the best designers take the interconnect into account from the very beginning. If you're thinking about doing any type of uh, signal integrity, power integrity work, that you need to expose yourself to the outside world. You can't just spend time in the lab uh, delving over your circuits. You need to get out in the real world. Interchanging information about these sorts of signal integrity, power integrity issues with people in the field is critical. And what better place to do it than at one of these conferences and Israel, to me, has been a, a, just a, a joy to visit. Uh, the, the people are wonderful, the food is great, um, the technical conference is at the highest level. For me, DGCon is a, is a way to um, introduce new concepts to an audience that can understand clearly the issues at hand with high-speed digital design. And I enjoy um, learning also about getting feedback for these, these ideas that we have. And it's the mutual collaboration between customers and, and our R&D lab. I would say thanks to, to Doody for putting together this sort of conference and, and inviting me to speak. It's, it's, uh, it's, it's very uh, career satisfying. <laughs>